If you Google, you know, music placement company, you probably come up with a ton of them. And if you do your research, you'll find out which ones are really legit and which ones aren't. Um, they usually list, uh, list their credits on their sites. You know, what have they had songs placed in? Who do they represent? And there are lots of different types of music placement companies. Some of them will put together a music sampler CD and they'll send them out to a bunch of music supervisors. And so they're taking maybe, you know, one song from each artist and maybe they'll put 15, 20 songs on a CD. And so in that way, your one song that they're promoting is getting into the hands of a lot of music supervisors. Another way that, that some companies work is they have an online system and a database where music supervisors can go and log in and they can search for whatever they're looking for, you know, and they can look for a happy, up-tempo country, whatever, and all those types of songs will come up and then they can look through them and they can, you know, choose what they want. Um, and another way is, another type of company is more of a boutique company. And they are usually run by just one or two people and they'll take on many, they'll take on much fewer clients, um, much fewer songwriters and artists. And they will become very, very familiar with the music as much as they can. And um, I've actually worked with one or two people over the past few years that have done a little bit of my pitching for me because it's very hard to do it all by yourself. But that said, the person who's going to know your music better than anybody is you. And for somebody who has a lot of songs and a lot of different genres and, you know, is continuously writing and recording a lot of music, it's great if you can do it yourself. Um, so I'm going to get into that. Actually, I'm going to say a few more things about music placement companies because um, if you're not in L.A., you don't need to be in L.A. to do this, obviously, but if you're not in L.A., it's probably a little bit easier to get started with a music placement company. They have all the connections, or not all, but they have a lot of connections. All music placement companies are going to be different. Some are going to be, you know, are going to have more connections with, um, film, with films, and some are going to be more, you know, with TV, and there are certain networks that they're really strong with. It's all really about relationships. So, um, so a couple things when you're when you, if you're looking for a music placement company to be aware of are the deals that they work with their songwriters and their artists. Um, it's pretty typical for a music placement company to take 50% of the master sync fee, which is what I was saying before. You know, the sync fee is the publishing, which if you own your own publishing, then you have your sync fee. If, uh, and, the, and the master is the master, the recording of it. Um, and they're split. 50-50. So if somebody says this is a fee that's $1,000 all in, you know that 500 is going to the master side and 500 is going to the sync side. So it's important to know what the music placement company takes. What um, There are some music placement companies that take publishing. Um, everybody has their own, uh, you know, I guess feel about that. I, I personally um, stay away from that. But but if they're really reputable, it might be something that you want to consider. Um, another, another thing that, that is good to look out for is retitling. A lot of companies are now starting, and have been, I guess, for a while, retitling songs. So they have, you have one version, the same exact song, one is called One Thing, and you own the publishing, and the other is called something else, and they either take the publishing, all of it, or they take half of it. So these are all things that are really important to consider and to know about. Um, also, some companies will settle for very low fees and some will work really hard to get you higher fees. If you're starting out, it's not such a bad thing to take a lower fee and to try and get as many placements under your belt as possible and to build up your, you know, reputation.